What is up guys, this is Odd Job Entertainment here bringing you a, another Star Citizen video. And uh, unfortunately this is going to be another kind of talking head video. Um, Shadowplay has not been recording the in-game sounds. I need to figure out why it is doing that. But uh, until I figure out what's going on or start using a different program, a lot of the footage that I get uh, ends up being kind of boring because there's no sound. But what you are watching in the background, um, I happen to be mining on Clio and found a very choice selection of rocks. I mean, this was like six or seven rocks uh, around my prospector that you see here that every single one just had a ton of quantanium. This was perfect to find. And I was so excited because here I am uh, finishing up my mining run. I'm, collecting all this quantanium, getting ready to make a big profit, when lo and behold, uh, we get struck by a 30k. Oh, I can't tell you how upset I was. Uh, after doing all this work, breaking up down, getting it all ready so I could pick it up super quick and take it to the uh, microtech station to refine it, to lose all of that was very frustrating. So I did what any reasonable person would do and rather than restart the game, I quantified exactly how much money I lost there. So you see in the bottom right, I've got a blown up view of what's mostly just the cargo manifest of my prospector. Sometimes when the prospector is moving around, it goes in and out of frame, but it's, it, it's mostly there. You can see right now it's 7.5 SEU, doing pretty good. Um, by the end of this clip, it gets up to 13.1. And uh, <laughs> uh, I actually went, took the, went through the trouble of calculating all this out to figure out exactly what I could have made if I had been able to get to the refinery like I was planning. So feel free to watch it through. I'll come back towards the end to give you the breakdown and, and tell you how I got to that number. Wow, I realized how boring it was uh, watching this footage without any sound, so I guess I better figure out something to say to fill up this space. Um, the good news is I figured out that the issue with my Avenger is pretty easy to work around. I was using a Revenant Gatling gun, which is obviously a ballistic weapon. Um, if you're using energy weapons or laser weapons, the annoying glare isn't there. so. If you are a penguin pilot or a parakeet pilot like myself and you're struggling with the lens flare that happens whenever you're using ballistics, try swapping over to something that's energy based and you'll probably have a much better time. Um, got quite a bit of footage of doing the 890 jump mission. I've gotten, gotten it down pretty much to a science at this point, which is kind of fun. Um, FPS combat is getting a lot better in Star Citizen. It, I remember when they first introduced the 890 jump mission and, and it was just terrible. Uh, just because it didn't work very well. Yeah, so it's really fun to go back and try that again and see that it is actually working pretty well now and you can do it pretty reliably. That said, I do sometimes get stuck in the airlock. Those particular doors leading to the hangar, those are, the, those are my nightmare. Um, I've gotten stuck in those doors more times than I can count at this point. Alright, so here's the breakdown of how I got to my number. I'm pretty sure on my process, but if anyone knows else, uh, otherwise, uh, please let me know. Always happy to make corrections. Uh, my understanding is SCU converts to 100 CSCU, which are the units that are measured in the refinery, uh, which makes sense. One meter is 100 centimeters, so that's where the um, lowercase c comes from, I would assume, anyways. So we take this number, 13.1, and technically it would have been a little higher. You can see I'm mining a 100% quantanium stone there wasn't able to pick it up because the 30k had already started at this point. Uh, this is where the fear started to set in knowing that I was about to lose all my cargo. Very sad day. Anyways, 
13.1 multiplied by 100, that's 1,310. You then take that number and then multiply it by the mineable's price that you can find on sites like SC Trade Tools. And you just keep going down through the list. So 8.15 SCU of quartz multiplied by 100, then multiplied by 1.56, and you just keep working down. Um, if you go through the cargo manifest, you'll see that the total for the AUEC that I lost was 130,582.15. That was pretty heartbreaking. Um, if you have had a similar experience where you have lost a large sum of money due to a 30k, please let me know. Uh, let's have a competition. Let's see who has lost the most due to a 30k. Um, right now, record is 130,000. If anyone can beat that, and I'm sure there's stories out there, I'd love to hear them. Anyways, this is Odd Job Entertainment, signing off.